Uh, I presented the paper today on the effect of the sanitary and phytosanitary measures on international trade. And basically what we try to do in this paper is to examine the effect of such measures on uh, Egyptian exports using firm level data. And uh, in order to examine this uh, on uh, the exports, we disentangle the effect in two main uh, points. So what we call the intensive margin and what we call the extensive margin. By intensive margin I mean uh, the fact that existing exporters uh, are going to export existing products to existing destinations. So you're, you're just increasing the quantity of exports. But by extensive margin is that by removing such barriers that you can increase either the number of exporters or you can increase the number of products that are exported or that you increase the number of destinations that are served by a specific exporter. And what we found is that removing, I mean reducing such uh, sanitary measures uh, is likely to increase the extensive margin of trade. So by either increasing the number of products that are exported to a certain destination or by increasing the number of markets that are served by Egyptian exporters. So um, the most two important recommendations that I have in mind, the first one is to help uh, domestic exporters to export more uh, by guaranteeing uh, the quality of products that are exported because that's simply uh, is going to reduce the number of measures that are imposed on Egyptian exporters by uh, the European economies or by other developed economies. And the second thing is that uh, most of these barriers uh, are imposed or let, are imposed by small or medium exporters meaning that the largest exporters are not really uh, suffering from this. So uh, in order, it, it would be very useful to integrate such small and medium exporters uh, in sort of clusters to uh, export more and to reduce the, uh, the negative impact coming from such measures. Thank you.